We know about the color of money. <laughs> what is the color of lightning? I uh, honestly, there was a color. Well, that's it, Scott. I, I don't mean to sound silly, but I, I've never seen a color in lightning. No. Oh. Not really? That I can remember. Really? Well, let's see. Because, yeah, it's, it, you're kind of right, but not, not so much. <laughs> so we'll just try. Not really. <laughs> trying to be nice. Uh. No, actually, well, okay, let's ask the question. Let's get the question asked here, and then we'll kind of talk about the details involved with lightning and the uh, appearance of a different color showing up. Hi, I'm Aspen Howell, and I go to Cynthia Mann, and my question is, why can lightning be different colors? Great question from Cynthia Mann Elementary. Another question about lightning. And basically what's happening is typically lightning is supposed to be white. Michelle, you mentioned lightning shouldn't have any color, right? It's light is made up of all the colors of the spectrum, okay? So just like with sunsets, we can see different shades of lightning depending on what is between us and the lightning. That's the key here. The closer the lightning is to you, of course, the more dangerous it is, but the, the closer it is, you're likely to see more of a bright white flash, especially if the air is clear. If you've had rain falling and it cleans the air out, you're likely to see that. But when you see storms off in the distance or at night, they can have a different hue to them as well. Here's a particular shot. Now, it shows a nice white flash, even though in the sky in the distance here, we're seeing uh, a typical sunset showing up where you're getting uh, sun's rays going through the water molecules and the dust in the air, but that lightning is close enough that it is clear. But there are times you can that orange glow to the sky and the lightning flashes and it's tough on film because film in pictures digitally or on film can change the look of the color sometimes even though that's not what we're seeing necessarily uh, but you can get on the fringes of the lightning bolt sometimes there's uh, just enough is the temperature of the lightning bolt is enough which by the way is 50,000 degrees that's centigrade or Celsius, that's about five times the temperature of the sun. But it's only there instantly. That's why it's not burning us, but it does. But it can also um, ionize what's going on in the atmosphere, and you'll get sometimes colors along the edges of the lightning bolt to be a bluish hue or sometimes a reddish hue as well showing up. Here you see kind of a purple glow in the sky. This is more likely due to the fact that there's stuff between you and the lightning bolt uh, where you'll have dust in the air, uh, dust being kicked up from the thunderstorm nearby as well. So typically, it's what's in the air changing the hue of the lightning bolt, but there have been some research showing that maybe you're, depending on the temperature of the lightning bolt, you can get changes in color, but I think it's more what's between you and the lightning bolt. So again, if the air is clear, it's bright and white. That makes sense. Yeah, I'd like to have a lot between me and those lightning bolts. Yeah. <laughs> the colored ones are better because they're further away. If it's too bright and too loud, you're too close. Mm. There you go. Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, 